Hey, Joseph, how you doing? Hey, Paul, how you doing? Pretty good. Hey, so the, so that helicopter company, they, they kind of, you know, their business is so chaotic because of weight factors and weather and everything. They kind of need mm-hmm. that inventory control system. When, when are you coming mm-hmm. out with that? Um, we're, we're working on it right now. I mean, the, the, the dev team is definitely going to be working on it. So it's definitely something that we're working on in the back end and all that. Well, so, yeah, kind of ping me when that happens because, um, you know, right now they would just have to take the bookings and then, you know, out of the booking system and put it back in the Google Doc they use with now and shuffle things around, you know. So it's, you know, due, due to the nature of their business, it's a little, you know, it's a little challenging. But, um, hey, did you see they uh, they dropped Robert Graff at Papillon? Couldn't believe that. One. Yeah, yeah. Did you see that? Yeah, yeah, I saw that. So he's no longer at Papillon, yeah. He was there forever, man. And out of all the companies that those guys own, you know what I mean? Shit, you'd think they just yeah. keep the guy because he made them a bunch of money. But, uh, fuck, that's mm. it. Anyway, so um, yeah. what else is... Uh, so, you so know, just let, let you know when we, we have that. And so what are they using now? They're just, they're just back like, to normal. Yeah, Google fucking doc. And they basically, you know, and then they got check-ins and, you know, and then people are overweight and then the weather changes. And then, you know, these people want to fly together. And it's just, you know, if you ever defined organized chaos, you know what I mean? Um, but hey, listen. Yeah. Well, I, uh, while I got you on the phone here, I'm gonna send you an email yeah. late, later on today. And uh, in our co- yeah. uh, in our last conversation, we both agreed that basically, you know, getting the customer to click on the book it button is of more value than processing the sale on the back end because there's many many companies that can process the sale on the back end, but to get people to click on the book it button. I mean, Google and Facebook are, I got 83% of the ad market now. And you know what's going to happen is because it's pay-per-click, every, the price is being pushed up as more and more people, you know, and it's a good ROI. I'm not complaining about it. I do it for customers, you know, the retargeting the ad words. But what, what, yeah. we, but what we developed is we developed a video marketing program and it's a fixed price. So there's no click charge. And what essentially you do is people right now on their websites, they play their video back on YouTube and they do it because it's free and I get it. But the point is, if you want to sell tours, that's not the way to do it. And what we developed was a a video player. We take the videos, we put the links in it. And then when the guy clicks the play video button on the website, it, it creates one format for desktop and one for mobile. And what it does on the mobile at the end of the mobile presentation, it says, hey, this tour is popular on TripAdvisor and it sells out, so be smart, book in advance, or click the call button. And then the video ends and it loads a menu that says book, call, back to website, and watch other videos. So we just fixed the major problem of navigation around you know mobile websites with this one-touch menu. And we're able to track. Yeah. Okay. And then on the desktop, the benefit is that it pops open, plays full screen, and there's a table. And if you're Gray Line Orlando and you got 20 tours, the guy doesn't have to click 72 times to go into each tour listing to see the video. It's all there, and he can see the price and the length. And really, on the desktop, that's a, that becomes the video gallery of the client's website. That's the most content-rich page on the whole guy's website because the guy can access a video, a price and a description and you don't have to menu all around. So then you take that player, you put on your mobile, your desktop site, you put on your Facebook page, you put in the signature of emails, your Yelp and everything else and it goes on. And then what we're able to do is we're able to track how many times people book and call and we give a report to the client. And the reason why I'm telling you this is I'm gonna give you a little preview of it and about, I don't know when the time's right for you, you guys do a little blast on your blog and you guys are going to look smart because you're teaching those guys how to people you know put it this way if a guy signs up for my video marketing program and he's paying me my fee you guys are making your click fee and so you make more money off of it and it didn't cost you anything right yeah sounds good sounds good yeah so let me ask you a question so are you on a pricing model 
you know, where it's like Fair Harbor, you give the option now, right? You can either charge the customer who's buying or you pay the 150 bucks a fee to you, right? Yeah, yeah, so with us, we can completely work with any companies yeah. the way they want. So we can do a commission model like Fair yeah. Harbor. Yeah. We can do a monthly subscription plan. Yeah, so we yeah. can do anything for yeah. them. But, but the, at the end of the day, if the guy sells more tours, you make more money because if, if it's not on a, a commission model like Fair Harbor, there's still a click charge if the guy goes over his quota for his $150 plan, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Either yeah. way, it's good for us. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. they're getting more clicks, more sales, more business. It's always better for you know for us. You know, the better the customer is doing, the better it is. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. And also, you know, it, so you know, once we establish a relationship, you know, it's it's almost like you can, you know, I would say, see, I I've been in this business for a while, right? And I could see that, you know, for it's getting kind of late. Like in your opinion now. I'm just so stunned. Doesn't everybody have a booking system? And are you really trying to get Fair Harbor guys to jump over to you? Or are you guys still running into customers that have no booking system? Oh, there's tons of customers. I mean, we only have, between all the companies that are our booking platform, we probably only have about 30% of the market. That's with all the companies put together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're telling, yeah, me 70, no. you're telling me 70 percent still don't have a – I mean, I was laughing at the helicopter company, you know, that they didn't have a booking system, but I didn't – Just like them. I just talked to a company, too, in Texas, and they don't have a book. You know what I mean? It's just – yeah, it's, 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 it's crazy. I, I guess what I'm saying is, is – is you know one way to to help you drive that booking system is if you can come in and say I got a booking system and I'm going to give you two weeks free of this video marketing program and now the guy's ears are perking up a little bit because you know a lot of people you know if they're so stupid they don't have a booking system they probably don't have their marketing together and therefore they're not selling tons off their website and they really need more marketing you know more than a booking system not always. That's actually, it's, it's funny, but that's uh, something that we're looking at to start doing. So we're starting to, um, you know, um, I, I told you just recently, I became the business development manager for here for Resi. Yeah. So I run um, all that now in more enterprise accounts and all that. But what we are going to start be doing here pretty soon is what we're going to start doing is we're going to now start um, offering all that um, some of that stuff with our subscription, you know, some SEO, some SEM, yeah, some of yeah, that stuff. Yeah. So then that way it can all package. Now, we, we don't have it right now, but we are in talks and working on it and doing it all. Right, right. Now, I got you. No, I, I can see Fair Harbor. I mean, the, they picked up Starline in L.A. there. And, you know, that, that, that guy is so cheap there. That I could totally, totally see him going for Fair Harbor because it didn't cost him any money, which is such a joke. But anyway, uh, Fair Harbor built him a website. And I'm, I'm sure you know about that, that they're throwing, they're saying, you know, I'll create you a new website if you switch over. And I don't think they're paying for it, but it, it makes logical sense that, you know, these That's guys. That's the reason are, why they joined Fair Harbor was because Fair Harbor got him a website. I, I talked to them. We met him at IPW. We just came back from IPW. Um, I talked to, you know, all of them. I talked to their dev guy. Um, they like ResD. They want to come over to ResD. Um, but you know, you know, the bottom line is, you know, they did they they joined Fair Harbor for for the wrong reasons, and now they're they're looking at wanting to join us. But we'll see. I mean, I got a yeah. meeting with them actually. I'm going to be out of town here the next um, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and I, I'm going to I'm setting up a meeting with them in LA, and then I'm going heading over to San Diego. A couple of customers I have down there, but yeah, I mean, it, we'll see. I mean, we'll see how it plays out. I mean, a lot of these guys. I mean, it's just. You know, I mean, if you, I mean, if you, I mean, I mean, you got to do the math, though, in the long run, you know what I mean? I mean, if you're paying 6% commission, no, no, stupid, you know. stupid, stupid. I mean, when I, when I saw Fair Harbor's model, then but then I thought to myself, well, you know, the guys that are running these internet companies don't think like me. They're, th you know, they just, they're kind of small mind thinkers, you know what I mean? And I could see that, you know, they would basically, but, you know, that was funny that, you know, that basically, you know, Booking.com bought Fair Harbor, but, you know, TripAdvisor went and bought that company up in Iceland, and I think they overpaid for Fair Harbor, right? 
So, oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, it, was, it didn't make no sense at all. Um, Booking.com, I mean, I don't know if you know, but, you know, we, 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 we deal with Boris over there. So Booking.com came to us at IPW, and our CEO was there and everything, and then they told us that they're going to only work with three companies, Fair Harbor, which they own. Um, they're going to integrate with Fair, with, um, with um, ResD and then one other U.K. company. But it doesn't it, – to us, to be honest with you um, – you know, at IPW, um, it was it was just so crazy the buzz that Resdy had. We had such a great buzz because people were, you know, one they were kind of concerned about all these new, you know, movements going around in the touring activity industry. And secondly, now the only true independent company out there is Resdy, and we work with everybody. We don't have any ties with anybody. No, we don't I have to, you know. That's actually it's all really, independent. You know? Yeah, no, you're. That's a valid point. Like I'm thinking to myself, who's going to work with? you know, Fair Harbor now, if you're Speedy or anybody else, you know what I mean? You're going to blacklist them. It's the competition. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, no, exactly. So then, you know, and that's when it's benefit for us because then we're like, hey, wait a minute, we work with everybody mm-hmm. and we, you know, we'll you know, we we'll help you get bookings, you know, from anyone, you know what I mean? So yeah, I we'll it. see how it all plays out at the end. Okay, well, let me, I'm going to put you a little, a, a little a preview of, the, of this video marketing program. I'm just kind of polishing it. The problem is, is this, there's quite a few components to it, and you don't want to overwhelm the guy. So, you know, you don't want to present too much information, but you want to present all the elements in it, and that's what we're kind of struggling with. But I'm going to send it over to you because you'll, you'll get it all and uh, see if we can work out some partnership. All right, cool. Send it over, Paul, and um, I'll definitely stay connected with you, buddy. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks for the call. All right. All right. No problem. Bye. Bye.